Um, all right. Yeah, so I have these Focal Clear Professionals that are creaky. Um, and I have some of this nonstick dry film lube. It's just like Teflon spray. And I have some rubbing alcohol just to clean up and I have some paper towels. So you start by shaking the spray. I've already done that. But, you know, shake it for like a whole minute. Put the straw on. Your bottle may be different. And then you can see, if I just spray a little bit, comes out fairly controlled. That was not a, a big amount that I just burst out onto the paper towel. And so that's about the amount that I'll spray into the headband. And what we do is we, we see in the headband, there are these gaps where it slides in and out. Um, I don't think it really matters how it's extended because after I spray it in, we're gonna move it in and out to spread the lube around. So I'm gonna, gonna take it and put it into each one of these sides and just very quick, quick burst, looks like this. One, two, three, four. Quick burst in and out. You can see there's a little bit of the lube on there. You can see it all wet. It's not running or anything. It's just kind of move it around, spread it around, all that. It, it sounds worse now, but once it dries, it'll be quiet. as I, I'm moving it out, it's kind of spreading this thin film on the, the yolks and it will dry this kind of pale white color like that. You can see it there. Um, and that's why I have the alcohol in case once I've set this back to where I like it, one, two, three, you can kind of still see some that obviously isn't helping anything. So I'll take some my paper towel and the alcohol on the paper towel and just see now you see it and And now you don't, but the lube is still there on the inside. So I'll, I'll do that for the other side later, but that's basically it. Um, and if it's still, still creaky, spray some more. Um, really, there's nothing in here except kind of the ratcheting mechanism, and it's not going to be harmed by this. This is, you know, it's dry, like it says, dry, clean, non-oily. It's not going to be harmed. So I encourage you to give it a try. So in the worst case, you pull it out, wipe it off, and it's like it never happened. Make sense? Yeah, perfect, man. Thank you so much for the demonstration. Okay. Uh, do you remove uh, the the part that is still in the uh, headphone, the upper part, or do you still leave it as it you, is? You can't remove it. It's all one piece, you know, kind of it. 
Um, no, no, no. I, I mean the the spray that that was still on the upper side. Oh, this was, stuff here. Yeah. Do do you do you wipe it off as well? Um, so you can. I think it might reduce the effectiveness. A little bit so obviously cosmetically this is not as pretty as you know brand new because yeah, yeah. you have this exactly. this lube on here but you never see it because it's inside the headband that said i did remove it on my elysia and it seemed the loop still seemed to work because it what really matters is that it's in the ratcheting mechanism which is where i think the creaking comes from it's like rubbing against that ratcheting mechanism and it causes the creaking. But once you get this, you know, we can really spray it up in there. And again, you're moving it in and out, it's coating that racketing, ratcheting mechanism. So I do think you can remove this without like undoing your work totally. But um, uh, if you, you can if buy you it both it, ways. If you leave it for a while, does it dry up? I mean, is oh, it, like, is, is it, uh... Do you Impossible. have to re reapply this? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm asking uh, if I leave this for, uh, say, a week or a month, is it uh, possible to uh, remove the stain uh, on the on the headphone later? Yeah, so this is completely dry already. Oh, ah, okay. So you this can is, just re remove Yeah, this is um, solvent-based. So the solvent flashes off really quickly and it leaves okay. this dry film behind. So you can see it. It there now, and I'll have my alcohol again. I can wipe it off like that. Yeah. And dry it. Again, solvents flash off really quickly. And now you see it's completely clean. Yeah, just a just, uh, you know, matter of taste for the aesthetics. But uh, I don't think nobody will <laughs> open up the headband to see if there is oh, anything. And, and again, I think it still offers some help, even once I've cleaned that off. Is it, is it better now? I can't really hear the difference. I, I mean, I can't really tell until it's on my head, to be honest, because uh, I think yeah. it really... It's, it's kind of a quiet creaking that you just hear when it's on your ears. Yeah, yeah. Does it happen to you as well when you maybe nod your head to music or something? Yeah, if yeah. I like just turn my head, it goes <laughs> creak and it's yeah, really annoying. That's but, really annoying. Yeah, I mean, this, this really did solve the problem for me. And you, apparently several other people who commented on the post. And did you ha have it on the both sides of the headphone or just one of them? Yeah, it was on both sides. On both sides, yeah. Perfect, perfect. I will try this, definitely. Yeah, you know, have confidence you know just uh, you're not the first to do it and uh it's it's not a destructive thing uh you know this no. is this is you know we're exactly. using the right tool for the job we have a a, a creek this solves creeks yes perfect perfect <laughs> thanks man uh, can, could you send me this recording or will you upload it to somewhere yeah i'll uh, i'll maybe just uh post it to youtube and then add a link or to my post if it's still if it's not archived um, i uh, it was archived i couldn't all right then maybe i'll make a new post or i'll just send you a link Happy perfect thank you man mm -hmm. good luck appreciate it